let's talk about some of the properties of waves. If I make a simple drop with the finger, the wave we can see is from a point spreading out. It looks like it's circular in motion and it looks like it's moving at the same speed throughout. The water depth here is in fact the same and so this is what we would expect. Looking at the wave, the wave is made up from a couple of different colours. Now what are they? Let's have a look and see what they are. And a way we can do this is using a lens. I have two lenses here. The first of these is a convex lens which is going to be thicker at the centre and thinner on the outside. If we look at this with the light shining on it we can see that where it's thicker it's brighter and where it's thinner it's darker. If I look with a, a concave lens thicker on the outside we see the opposite. Where it's thick it's light, where it's thin it's dark. So when we're looking at these waves where we see a bright piece that's where the wave is sticking up and where we see a dark piece the wave is down so we've got the crest of a wave bright and the trough of a wave where it's dark and we can use this to work out where the beginning and ends of waves are if I make several drops we can see that as it goes out they all move out in circular fashion and they are made up from ups and downs, lights and darks.